Welcome back to the most news in the morning. 2009, just days away now, and with the new year comes, of course, new trends. So what can we expect? Marion Salzman is the chief marketing officer at Porter Novelli Worldwide, and she joins me now with an 09 preview. Good morning to you. Good morning. One of the things I was really happy to hear about, because I am one, is that uh, the boomer generation is out, the cuspers are in. Right, well, Generation Jones, Cusper, call them what you will. There's definitely going to be a power shift. Um, Obama going to the White House is the beginning of something new. I think you're going to see this group born 1954, 1955 to about 1965 um, with different set of values. We weren't allowed to go to Woodstock. We were told to go back to our bedrooms and do our homework. <laughs> we really can't remember any of the great assassinations except for maybe with our parents kind of being told to cover our eyes. Breaking news to us happened once every three, four, five years when we were growing up. Um, a very different set of values, and we're going to bring different kinds of decision-making skills. Also, we were left out of the big gravy train. Most of us didn't make money in any of the big heydays, and I think we have a different set of values coming out of the big blow-up of all these things. So uh, not only will the cuspers be in a Generation Jones, as you call them, but also Heartland Home Base, a new focus on the Windy City. Well, I think Chicago is going to be the big trend-spotting market. We've all focused on L.A., we've all focused on New York, we've exhausted these places to death, and suddenly we find out that leading indicators say people in the Midwest are the people to study. Uh, it's produced Oprah. Um, it's produced Obama. Neither one of them can really shake their modest vices, cigarettes or food. Now, do you think that Chicago will still be a trend-setting city after the president-elect moves to Washington? Yeah, I mean, I do think so, um, in part because they were the, they're embracing giving to charities ahead of other people, embracing uh, family values ahead of other people, embracing political vices ahead of other states. So they have the yin and the yang, they have the goodness and they have the badness. Yes, so they have all of our conflicts built into one. And we got the, the president-elect and then we got Blagojevich all in the same um, You have the Tribune. You have also the first place where Americans, everyday citizens, demanded their stake in the, bail, in the bailout. If you think about the strike that happened where the people went back mm -hmm. and said, hang on, That's right. give me my fair share. Yeah, the that was, that was really, company, the, right? the, really the beginning of people saying, stop, I want my, my business too. So the economic crisis obviously will have a big impact in the first part of next year, if not all of next year. And, and you suggest that one of the trends we're going to see is the ultimate reboot? That's what is right. that? Think about when your computer melts down, you call the IT department, you call Geek Squad, and they say reboot. Every one of our systems needs to be rebooted. Education isn't working. Healthcare isn't working. The roadways aren't working. Think of those potholes you fall into every morning when you're getting here. The whole country needs to be rebooted at a bigger level. Um, the World Economic Forum has met and they said we need to reboot everything. Um, we need, we are broken. And we're broken and we're going at least 40 miles an hour and we've got to reboot while we're doing it at that speed. Tom Friedman had a, an interesting piece right. in a recent New York Times going from Hong Kong's airport to landing at JFK. He and said that's it, big it's like going backwards in time and economy as well. And look, it's, it's, it's a buzzword now, mm -hmm. which makes it even more dangerous. I mean, it's, it, Friedman talked about it last week. It's on the cover of Men's Journal. It's on the cover of Marie Claire. Everybody's buzzing about it. But if we don't figure out how to do it, we're broken. And, and, and also, a dollar becomes much more valuable when economic times are, are tough. And you say that there will be a return to value and values? That's right. I mean, we're going to put a lot more emphasis on having cash in our pocket, but only spending our cash with people that are good people. So you want to um, spend your money with an employer that's a good person. So what does it mean to be a good person? It means when they lay people off, they treat them fairly. Mm -hmm. It means when they give money into causes, they give them to good causes, causes in the community that actually make a difference. We're going to be much harsher armchair critics. You know, I, I spent a couple of weekends up in Woodstock recently, and one of the big words we heard around all the little shops there was sustainability. And local. Local is yeah. the new global. You don't want to be bothered with the rest of the world until you solve your problems locally. It doesn't mean we don't care about world issues. Of course we do. But local is the beginning. Well, we'll get you back here at the end of 2009 and see how well you did. Thank you. Marion Salzman, great to see you. Thanks Thank for you coming much. in this morning. Appreciate it. Christine? Happy New Year.